everyone. Good morning. Uh, welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. And uh, yeah, loaded or unloaded spine. We're going to look a little bit at how our arms create load and that we can always choose what's the best way for us to meet our spine. So do you put weight into your spine or do you just mobilize the spine? Um, yes, so uh, I was texting a few of you this morning. So yes, I have been in my river. Um, it's so beautiful down there at the moment. But if it was, a, you know, if I get in, it's really cold. And I was standing there and I was just like, just being with the nature and then the midges attacked me. So it was safer to be under the water than above water because there was so many midges this morning. And uh, my tent is going up this weekend. Uh, it's going up on Saturday. I did think I'd get it up last weekend, but I didn't. So it's going up on Saturday. And um, yeah, yeah, I like the sweet at the moment. It's very nice. Uh, really enjoying, um, yeah, just really enjoying nature and this time of year and Really looking forward to joy in June. So come lie on your back and we're going to look at loaded or unloaded spines. So you're lying on your back. Your knees are bent. And just move your spine a bit on the floor. And notice, do you do it? in relationship to your shoulders is it your shoulders that are moving your spine or is it your spine that's moving your spine so how do you know the difference so for me the the shoulders moving is where for example i pull my shoulders back and my chest lifts or i round my shoulders forward and my chest drops down so move your shoulders forward and backwards actively so this is what I will call loaded. This is where your shoulders are moving your spine. Okay, just let that rest. And then we look at unloaded, which is where you keep your shoulders connected to your chest and you just move your rib cage or your spine forward and backwards without, so your shoulders are moving in the same direction as your spine. Whereas loaded, your shoulders move in the opposite direction. So it doesn't move all that much when you keep your shoulders connected to your spine. And then just wiggle side to side. Bring your hands to your chest and side bend. So bring your elbows down towards one hip and elbow down towards the other hip. So you're wiggling on the floor. Nice. Flatten your lower back down, arms long beside you arch into your lower back flatten your lower back down arch one more time flatten your lower back down arch drop your knees down towards the right back to center and drop your knees to the left and back to center and just travel from one side to the other side with your knees. I'm gonna reach my arms wide and I'm gonna turn it into gliders. I'm just feeling the deep of the back of your spine. The side of your waist. It always feels so satisfying, gliders to me. It mobilizes something into the sides of my hips and the side of my waist. And it really eases out something. Mm -hmm. So lovely. So the next time your right foot goes over towards the left, just tuck it in behind the left knee and bring your right, left hand to rest on the outside of your right knee and just deepen that. Keep your right shoulder on the floor. And remember, if it feels too strong, then you've gone too deep. So it's really you choose the depth of engagement. Don't, it's not like we're, we abandon ourselves to some external goal. We maintain an inner integrity. You know, this is your space. Inhabit your space and wellness. Don't, you know, overwhelm yourself or push beyond your resources. Stay awesomely you in this moment, in wellness, in your ability to move, 
Nice. Travel to the other side. So drop your knees to the right. Tuck your left foot into the back of the right knee. You can bring your hand to your knee or not. And again, if it feels too strong, you've gone too deep. And just settle in. You know, can you respect the boundaries of your ability? And your, your ability will, the language of your ability and your mobility is in the sensations that you're feeling right now. So can you stay with your sensations and really be in this space, in this shape, in wellness? Nice, come back to center. Uh, shimmy a little bit so your spine is straight. Just rock yourself around and then roll up and down along your spine. I'm just feeling that. How do you travel? How do you connect? You know that idea yesterday of the weight traveling from your sacrum up along your spine until there's more weight up into the shoulders and head. And I even feel it like a pressure that rises into my head as I lift my hips. I can feel the like my throat is more under pressure. My eyes fill a little bit more. My face gets roundier as I rise up. I can just feel, yeah, I can feel weight. I wonder, is it blood flowing into the <laughs> head a little bit more? One more time and then hold it. So rising up and pause, push deeply into your uh, hips, squeeze your bum. I'm going to reach my arms up towards the ceiling and bring my palms to touch. And I'm gonna round my shoulders forward. And when I do that, somehow something connects through the length of my spine. When I curve my shoulders a little bit more, I feel this connection that I can lift my hips a little bit higher. It's like this amazing S curve in my spine. Is that an S? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know what kind of shape it is, but it just feels really nice. <laughs> midges were yesterday morning there was no midges i couldn't work it out and then today oh my god oh my god oh my god the midges oh midges in ireland in furbo <laughs> lower all the way down drop your arms overhead drop your knees to the right come back up to center arms are straight up overhead knees are center and then drop your arms overhead, drop your knees to the left. Come back up to center. So this is the ballerina twist and exaggerate as you drop your arms down and your knees to the right, turn your chest a little bit to the left and look to the left. Back up to center. And then drop down towards the right with your arms. It's kind of overhead, but a little bit like ballerina-y over towards the right. So just feel that exaggerate the leaning of your torso in the opposite direction from your knees the ballerina twist very nice and i'm really kind of going for it with my chest and i'm kind of leaning into it with my shoulders and i feel very satisfied turning my head to the side It feels a little bit like elephant. I wonder, is this elephant lying on the floor kind of? Kind of, kind of, kind of is. I think it's elephant. Mm, look at that. Ballerina twist is a similar movement to elephant. Because our knees are moving away and our shoulders are staying steady, usually it's the, yeah, it's fascinating. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> indulge me here <laughs> i love seeing movements and finding them in other movements and then kind of going oh that's what this is and then connecting and then my brain kind of goes wild and goes oh it's the same movement oh there you are great so we're just going to sit up for a moment sitting up <laughs> sitting up so that movement we were doing earlier where our spine and our shoulders we're moving together. So don't listen to your shoulders, listen to your spine and round your spine forward. 
and then lift your spine tall but let your arms be really passive and moving with you spine travels forward spine lengthens up so this is unloaded spine this is your spine moving itself and it owns itself it's not being there's no external factors influencing the movement of your spine this is just pure spine and when i do this i really feel my midline the middle of me and i'm trying to listen more to the middle in the middle of me moving nice okay so now we're going to do a loaded version of that so so i'm going to sit sideways so you can see it a little bit clearer so as i drop my as i look upwards i'm going to pull my elbows backwards so it's a stronger movement of the spine because i'm adding extension of my shoulders okay and when i drop my shoulders forward my spine forward i'm gonna round my back my shoulders forward so not only is my spine moving but now my shoulders are loading because they're adding their muscular intention and also their weight to the spine so just feel that as you round your shoulders round forward as you arch your shoulders squeeze backwards and i'm keeping my elbows bent my elbows are bent but my shoulders are really traveling okay so we're now loading the spine with the muscular effort of our shoulders nice and now we're going to load it even more so if that felt strong enough into your spine stay there or as you pull your elbows back reach your arms long and turn your palms upwards so now we have weight of the arms and this massive pull down into our hands, which is feeding into the spine, okay? And then as you round forward, imagine you're about to dive into a swimming pool and now you have the weight of your hands and your arms loading the spine as well. So hands drop down, arms go back, shoulders go back, chest comes forward. And then rounding forward, arms go forward. So when you feel your midline and then your shoulders and then your arms and you feel the difference between this movement and the very first one we're going to go back to that in a few minutes but can you just appreciate that we're loading the spine in a different way nice so we'll just go back to the basic one again so don't let your shoulders move apart from how they're being moved by your spine just round your spine forward and then looking up so when we just do the spine it's really sweet <laughs> it's such a cute movement it's like wow this is just so simple and then the other things layered in on top create more intensity mm, complexity so come into your cat pose and then just push back into your downward dog have a moment in your downward dog have a bit of a wiggle maybe drawing your heels down a few times wiggling into the pelvis leaning into your rib cage kind of traveling a little bit side to side or you're really dropping one knee down and lengthening into the side body just feel this connect into it those are really funny movements we did yesterday the kung fu yogi ones it's quite cool very end of class we're going to do something similar nice cool so drop your knees to the floor and step your right foot forward so your right foot comes forward to the front of your mat so we're going to try loaded and unloaded here so arms are relaxed and just round your spine forward nice and then lift your chest so without my arms engaging i can feel that i'm quite wobbly right now so i'm going to turn the front foot at a 45 degree angle so i have more surface area for the front foot and suddenly i'm a little bit more stable so my arms are really relaxed and i'm only moving my spine 
So now we're going to start with our spine, our shoulders. So pull your elbows back as you arch and then round your shoulders forward as you round. So when I do this, I feel so much more stable because the big muscles of the side of my body and the big muscles of my shoulders are now also working. And I'm going to start straightening my arms forward and then pulling my arms back. So I'm even more stable. It is much, much stronger. It's a much more whole body movement that's happening. But because I'm loading and I'm balancing the muscular effort through the arms and the sides of my torso, I feel so much more stable. That's such an interesting understanding. Hmm. Nice, one more time. Nice, other side. So bring your left knee down. Oh, right knee down, bring your left foot forward. I'm going to turn my foot slightly in so I have a greater surface area for my foot. Relax your arms, let them be really passive. And only your spine rounds forward. And then your spine arches up. So again, I feel so wobbly. It's very interesting. I feel like, um, like a snake rising out of a basket. You know those like Indiana Jones and the Lost Ark. Was there a snake in that, I wonder? <laughs> Random thought association by Kira. So I'm only moving my spine, but I feel really wobbly. Nice. Now we're going to round our shoulders forward as we come forward. And pull your shoulders back. So straight away, I don't know whether I feel more balanced. I just feel more able to balance. I feel like... I have more ability to respond when my shoulders are also moving forward and backwards with my spine. Now we're going to do the arms. As you go back, reach backwards, palms face up. As you go forward, dive into a swimming pool. Backwards. And forwards. Backwards. And forward. Super cool. Push back into your downward dog. Dun, dun, dun. All the way back. That was very cool. Oh, I feel like I understood something. I love finding out new things about movement. It's really exciting. That was a new one for me that I was playing out in the garden yesterday. I lit a fire. I went and collected wood in my forest. Just little twigs. I lit a fire <laughs> to keep the midges away. And then I did my yoga. Yeah, I was playing with loading and unloading the spine. Oh, very beautiful. Nice. Come sit on your mat. All the way down. Legs are long in front of you. So yesterday we were doing um, zigzag. So zigzag to the right. So feet are to the right. And then, yes, bring your left elbow down and draw your knee up towards your chest. And then as you swing your right foot back, reach your right hand forward. So we're doing propellers, half sitting up. Elbow and knee move, and then foot goes back, arm reaches forward. You can do it with the legs straight. If you have space. Nice. Come up to sit and then spin your right foot so that your soles, your feet come together and then spin your right foot so your knee comes to your left foot. Spin your right leg and then spin it in the other direction. So knee comes down and then foot comes down. Nice, one more time. Knee comes down and then pause there with your knee in the air. So I'm balanced again. So this is one of those balances where the whole of your body is, is connected. So my right side of my waist is really squeezing. The left side is lengthening. My arms are balancing me. My neck is balancing me. The right leg is floating. I'm kind of doing like a zombie twist. So my arms are reaching in the opposite direction from my torso because if I was to bring them to the left, 
it's much, much harder to balance because I don't, I'm not counterweighting myself. So just try, move your arms a little bit more to the left. Wow, and then to the right. <laughs> Other way. So uh, zigzag your feet to the left. Right knee, right elbow comes down and then propeller with your left arm, left leg. Propeller is where your knee comes up, your elbow goes back, hand goes forward, foot goes back. Nice, cool. Well, you can do it with straight leg. Mm. I don't know if I like it more with straight leg. It's interesting. I think it's more satisfying with my knee bent somehow. Anyways, come sit up. Spiral that left leg so your foot comes to your foot. Spiral that left leg so your knee comes to your foot. Foot to your foot. Knee to your foot. Foot to your foot. Knee to your foot and then pause. Floating your left leg in the air, zombie twist. So your arms are reaching in the same direction over towards the left. It's counterweighting your torso. Left side is really contracted. Right side is also contracted, but it's lengthening. Left side is shortening. And then just try and bring your hands to the right. Oh, my back foot wants to move. My leg is counterbalancing me by moving backwards. Oh, so interesting. So I'm going to try not let my leg move and see, see what happens. <laughs> Come lie on the floor, all the way down. Very cool. Planned. Pause. Landing, resting. Notice the call of your body. Is it a pigeon? Is it a shoulder stand? Is it a twist? Is it a, I have this longing for legs in the air. See what you want to do. And just take a minute or so to lean into something that really suits you. Hmm. Nice. How oh, super cool. So stay there and pause let's rest very nice <laughs> so great so june will be joy and i'm so looking forward to it it just it just yeah lights me up when i think of june for joy and the sun and um somehow honoring the you know the rise I think there's something about, you know, the more and more the last few months I've been thinking about it, you know, the moon cycles or the tide cycles or the year cycle. It's real. There's something really tangible about the fact that the, the sun is rising in the sky. And I'm marking that in the, yes, in my rhythms, in my connections. And I'm yeah, really liking it. Um, so be well, be awesome, be you. And I'll see you tomorrow morning for the last day of Belong. So as you rest here right now, as you, whatever it is that you're doing, rolling up your yoga mat, how is it to be in your space, in this body, in this moment? And just check in with the sensations of that. Nice. Awesome job. I'll see you all tomorrow. Um, thanks for joining me. Ciao, ciao.